scary stuff. No, that's not Godzilla. And no, that's not Jurassic Park 3. That is the original Jurassic Park. That is one of Spielberg's greatest accomplishments. I mean, I remember seeing that logo, that skeleton of that Tyrannosaurus Rex on the cover of books all over the place and starting to see it on movie posters. What was Jurassic Park? What was, what was this all about? And Spielberg's name was behind it. This is one of the last films I really held on to, keeping the special effects close to their chest before really unleashing it on audiences in the theater. He pushed the boundaries of effects. He pushed the boundaries of sound. This was a film that even, I think, Wait, I was gonna say, did it win some Oscars? This is a movie that even won three Oscars. I, this was a game changer because this wasn't just a movie that movie fans really get excited to go see, get their popcorn and get the shit scared out of them. This was a movie that critics all around the world went and saw and saw something incredible that Spielberg had accomplished again. Suddenly it wasn't just about making the money anymore, it was about actually winning some awards and some accolades. That's a double win for a studio. I mean, that really makes them look good. You have to thank Spielberg for almost everything, but we'll get to that later. But for this, Jurassic Park was not just one of the most terrifying experiences to have on the big screen. This was the first movie that had the spectacle and the scale that really set the tone to really push the envelope in that area. Where movies like Godzilla coming out next week, these are things that exist thanks to Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> <laughs>